I have been thinking about something more about listening, right? Okay, I understand passive listening, active listening. This, this is especially for leaders, right? Especially when they are listening to their employees or, or younger people. I am saying there is something called listening to the future. Listening to the future, what does it mean? It means that whenever we speak, right, whenever we speak, whether we speak about our past or present or whatever, we are always speaking about possibilities. We are always speaking about solutions. We are always speaking about something that we want, right. It is like praying, asking for something. So, supposing I have a conversation with my boss and my boss is upset with me for something. And then when I am telling him and I am trying to defend myself or explain why I did what I did, I am actually asking that I be given a chance or I be taught how to correct myself. So, for me listening, listening to the future means listening to, to, to what, the, what the speaker desires. What is it that he wants to do? If when, you, when, you, when you listen intently to someone, you can ask yourself, what is this person really wanting from us, right? What does he want me to do? So, listening to the future means he also wants help in how to move forward. Please let me know what I can do more. This, this particular slide, listening to the future is especially for leaders who do not bother to listen to employees, who just do not bother because they, they think they do not have time, because they think, you know, they are big shots, they just do not have the time to listen to anyone. And leadership can really do with a lot of listening. I have had personal experience where, where bosses who, who, you know, you go to a boss's room with, 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 some, with some great idea, with some great thing and all they do is look at the watch. Looking at the watch is one of the worst things that you can do when someone is speaking to you. The better thing to do is to say, do not talk to me now, maybe come back at 5 o'clock when I am free because I may not be able to give you all the attention I have. But they do not do that, right? Because why, what do they care anyway? So, that is the whole question, what do they care? So, if you care for someone, you know, I keep telling my friends the best way to fall in love or the best way to make someone fall in love with you is to ask her for coffee and just listen to her. You do not have to say anything at all. And she will come back and she will say, this person is the best person I know because, you know, he has listened to me so well. So, listening is about respect and love can happen only when this, I am going off in a, in a, in a, in a different topic I know, but you see, I, I am hoping to, hoping, I am hoping that you are able to understand what I am really trying to say, right? Because love happens when there is respect, when you listen, you are telling someone that you respect her and respect is what every one of us wants, right? Every one of us wants not to be accepted so much as respected. And this is a great opportunity for you because it does not cost you much. What does it cost you? Right? If you do not want to listen to someone, you just say, I do not want to. But if someone is willing to speak to you and if you have the time, then why do not you spend that time listening instead of interrupting and speaking is all I am asking. I have had this personal experience about listening which is why I started getting into listening so well, so much because you know um, about I think about 7 or 8 years ago, my mother was very, very sick and she was having chest pain. So, we went to the a doctor, a very famous doctor, very, very famous. I was glad I got an appointment from him, but it is very difficult to get an appointment from him. You would not believe what happened. I am not going to name the doctor. So, we went in with my mother, me, and there was this doctor sitting in his cabin. Now, as soon as we went in, he said, come, come, and he made my mother sit down. And he took the stethoscope, he put the stethoscope in, uh, in his ear, and he started, you know, put the stethoscope on my mother's chest. At that time, he got a call. He got a call. He picked up the mobile, he started speaking to the mobile, in the mobile. At that point in time, someone came in. 
and he is speaking to that person. In one minute, at the same time, he was speaking on the mobile, listening to the uh, to, to the to, to, to my mother's chest, the murmurs of my mother's heart, and listening to someone talking to someone who came into the room. What was he listening to? Was he paying attention to the mobile phone? Was he paying attention to the stethoscope? Or was he paying attention to the person who came in? Is it possible for someone to listen to three people at the same time? What was he trying to do? What was the most important thing for him at that point in time? I am not going to tell you what. Needless to say, my mother, you know, passed away after some time, not immediately. I am not connecting the two. But I am asking you to ask yourself how important it is for doctors to listen, right? So important. So therefore, we are getting into professions now. Which are the professions that need to listen? Doctors, of course. Lawyers, engineers, teachers, everyone. So if you look at it, everybody needs to listen. Parents, children. And if we can form a listening world, right? If nations can listen to each other, if politicians can listen to each other, if opposition parties can listen to each other, if the whole world starts to listen, if you can listen to the distress that the environment is going through without because the environment, the, the nature cannot speak to you, but if you can still listen to her, can you ask for a more understanding world? Because listening will lead to understanding and understanding is what we want. Before I end, have you started to understand, have you started to note down why people do not listen? I do not know what you have written down in your notes, but there are some things called filters, right? When someone speaks to us, we filter it and that is why we are not able to listen. So, what are the filters? The common filters are, I do not like someone and therefore, I do not listen. So, not liking someone prevents me from listening. The other is cultural difference, right? Someone is from a different culture and I am not so fond of that culture, so I do not listen. Bias. I am biased about someone. I know that this person is, is not a good person. I know that this person, I, I do not like this person. I know that this person's views are all boring, so I do not listen. Bias. I also do not listen because I, I have a different opinion. This person's opinion is different from mine. I do not agree with him, so I do not listen. His values are different. My values are different. I do not listen. So, these are the filters that we have when we, are, when we are listening. If we can remove these filters, right, and if we can look at the other person as a human being or not, you know, in, you know, in biomimicry, we, we, we are actually learning that even nature so, I am not going to exclude nature. I am sorry about that. I, I think everyone, including nature, if we can listen without bias, if we can listen just for the sake of understanding what the other person is saying, I am going to leave you to find out how powerful listening is. But before I go, there is one test I always conduct with my friends. You see, whenever I ask people to rate themselves on listening skills, Everyone says, I am 9 out of 10, I am 8 out of 10, I am 9 and a half out of 10, I am the best listener in the world, right? And then I say, fine, great, great self-assessment. Now, go home, go home and ask someone you love how much of a good listener you are. 99 out of 100 times, they come back and said, you know what? I asked my wife, who I love very much, and she said, I am 4 out of 10 on listening. I asked my father and he said, I am 3 out of 10 on listening. Strange, right? People you love, you do not listen to. Ask yourself why and ask yourself how listening can help you in your life. If you find value in listening, I think from today, you should start becoming a great listener. Thank you. So, thank you very much. I, I have thoroughly enjoyed, I, I enjoy talking about listening all the time. Uh, watch the video uh, that we recommend that you watch because some fantastic stuff in the video and uh, and ask yourself how you can keep keep increasing your rating on listening and 
and thank you.